Hey what's up, guys welcome back to our channel, so in this video we are gonna see, what if Naruto and Yujito wanted to marry it against rules, this is part 1, and if you want more then please leave a like, share and subscribe, let's get in the video. A small boy, about 6 years of age, could be seen walking through the streets of Konoha, as he came back from playing with a few friends at the playground. The blonde continued to walk as he tried to ignore the many glares that he received from the general populace around him. As the kid walked up to his apartment as he opened the door to come into the small room that was given to him by his only precious person, his Jiji. The small boy was called Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto was always a hyperactive kid. He could almost find any reason to smile, and yet each smile he gave grew smaller and smaller by the passing day, as he continued to be the bane of existence for the people of his village. Naruto gave a small sigh as he took off his clothes and placed them on the bed. Naruto looked at the ground for a second as he gasped when tears came down his eyes. Naruto used his little hand to brush his eyes as he cried. Why can't I make more friends? Why do people hate me? Why does everyone glare at me? All these questions Naruto asked at the empty space. Naruto got no answer, and only silence reigned as he sat on his bed. Naruto sniffed slightly as he closed his eyes to go to sleep after the long day he had. Naruto soon opened his eyes and looked at the bed with only himself in it. Naruto curled into a small ball as he wondered what the warmth of a family was like. Naruto sighed as he wondered where his parents were or if they loved him. Sleep claimed Naruto in no time as he slept in his empty apartment. Oblivious to him, two shinobi came into the room as they looked at the sleeping boy. Both sneered at him as they whispered to each other. Let's hurry up and get this over with. I don't want to stare at this trash anymore, one of them said to the other. I agree. It's time we saved the village and got this demon out of here, the man next to him said. Both nodded to each other as they picked up Naruto and quickly exited the apartment. Both passed the village gates with minimal effort as they dashed into the forest with the problem child of the village in their hands. Both channeled chakra to their feet as they traveled far to get Naruto away from the village. After nearly three hours of running, both stopped in the middle of nowhere as they placed the child on the ground. This should be far enough, now let's go. Hopefully this brat will never make it back to the village, the shinobi said to his partner. Both nodded as they left Naruto and vanished as they erased all evidence of their presence from the scene. Naruto continued to sleep peacefully without a care in the world. Next morning, Naruto squinted his eyes slightly as he got them adjusted to the rays of sunlight. Naruto opened his eyes fully as he turned his head fast to see that he wasn't in his room. Naruto looked around again as he saw nothing but trees as far as his eyes could see. W where am I? I don't remember this place. Where is my apartment? Naruto wondered as he slowly rose to his feet. Naruto walked around the mysterious place as he tried to find his way back to his apartment. As Naruto walked, he observed that he was in a different place for he didn't remember any of the scenery that he was seeing. Naruto continued to walk as his stomach rumbled. Naruto clutched his stomach as he looked around for any source of food. Naruto noticed a big hill across from the tons of trees he saw. Naruto sighed as he trudged on through the forest and walked up the hill. Naruto slowly climbed the hill as he scanned the area. Naruto gasped at the beautiful scenery, but his admiration didn't last long as he saw that his home was nowhere in sight. Naruto frowned as he tried to find any small feature that he could remember, but it was all in vain as he slowly descended the hill. Naruto turned his head to see a small fire coming from a specific place in the forest, as a smile came across his face. I guess I can find out if anyone is over there. Naruto said to himself as he walked towards the fire. Naruto smelled something good as his stomach rumbled some more. It took him a few minutes, but Naruto made it to the base of the fire, as he peeked through the bushes to see some fish roasting near the fire, as his mouth watered at the sight. Naruto scanned the area and saw a woman sitting near the fish waiting for them to roast a bit more before eating. Naruto looked her over as the woman appeared to be in her late teens. Her hair was blonde like his, but much darker than his. She was wearing a short-sleeved black and purple blouse and back pants, which seemed to have the design of clouds on them. She also wore purple fingerless gloves on her hands, as Naruto moved upward to see what Naruto suspected was a headband on her head. It had the symbol of clouds on it as Naruto continued to observe the woman. She seemed rather nice along with her figure, as Naruto found his little eyes staring at the new woman in front of him. Naruto seemed to be at a standstill between coming out and talking to her and staying to just admire her. Unknown to Naruto, he couldn't get the ladder as his stomach grumbled with alerted the woman to his presence in the bushes. Naruto gasped as he saw her take out a kunai and face towards his direction. Come out now. The teens said as Naruto weighed his options. 
she was obviously a shinobi, and running wasn't going to help the situation he knew for a fact. Naruto decided to pray to Kami that he lived and carefully crawled out as he had a slightly scared expression on his face. Eh sorry miss. I didn't mean to spy on you. I found your fire and I just wanted to find someone and ask for some help, Naruto told her. The woman's eyes softened at him as she saw he was just a kid. She withdrew her kunai as she walked towards the kid. Why are you all the way out here? She asked him. Naruto's eyes looked down as he shook his head at her question. I don't know. I was asleep in my apartment room last night and when I woke up I was here. I don't know where my home is, Naruto told her. The mysterious woman looked at him with a blank face as she analyzed his story. He was just a kid so it was plausible that he was telling the truth. The blonde woman smiled as she knelt down. What's your name? She asked him. Naruto looked up at her as he gave her a small smile. I I am Naruto Uzumaki. What is your name? Naruto asked her with a smile. The woman chuckled at him as she gave him her own smile. I am Yujiro Nai. It's nice to meet you Naruto Uzumaki. Do you know where you are right now? Yujiro asked him. Naruto shook his head that he didn't as Yujiro pulled out a map and pointed to a specific place for Naruto to see. You're here, at the edge of you no Kuni Hot Springs Country and Hi no Kuni Fire Country Kanoha, Yujiro told him. Naruto looked at the map as he pointed to pointed to Kanoha. That's where I live. I live in Kanoha Yujiro chan Naruto told her. Yujiro chuckled at the affectionate use of her name as she rolled up the scroll. Yujiro placed the scroll back into her pouch as she turned to Naruto. Well I would offer to take you back, but Kumo and Kanoha are at each other's throats right now. Me going there might bring our villages to war one thing, Yujiro told him. Naruto nodded with a sad smile as Yujiro looked at him. A small awkward silence came between them, but stopped as they both heard Naruto's stomach rumble. Naruto blushed with embarrassment while Yujiro chuckled. Naruto pouted at her as his blush deepened. It's not funny Yujiro-chan. I'm starving here, Naruto said to her. Yujiro's chuckle turned into a laugh as she held her sides. Naruto huffed as Yujiro managed to calm down. Eh sorry Naruto-san, but you just made me laugh. I suppose I could at least give you some food to eat, Yujiro said as she turned back to food to see that they were down. Yujiro sat on the ground as she motioned for Naruto to sit next to her. Naruto obeyed as he sat next to the blonde woman. Yujiro smiled as she gave him a fish to eat. Naruto took the fish as he bit into it and tore some of the roasted flesh off. Naruto smiled as he ate to his heart's content. Yujiro took her own fish as both ate in silence. Yujiro turned to Naruto and turned serious. Are you going to be alright Naruto-san? Yujiro asked him. Naruto stopped eating for a second as he looked at the ground. I don't know Yujiro-chan. I am happy that you told me where I was, but I don't want to go back to Kanoha, Naruto told her. Yujiro paused from eating her fish as she turned to Naruto. But why did you Naruto-san? Your parents must be worried about you, Yujiro told him. Naruto gave a sad smile as he continued to look at the ground. I don't have any parents. I'm an orphan, Naruto told her. Yujiro gasped as she nearly dropped her fish. Yujiro placed a hand on Naruto's shoulder as she gave a sad expression. I'm sorry Naruto-san. I didn't know. But why did you want to go back? Yujiro asked him. She didn't want to pry too much, but it was something about him that just made her want to know more. Naruto looked at the ground a little more, but turned to Yujiro as he frowned. Everyone in Kanoha hates me. I didn't have many friends back there. The people glared at me for some reason that I don't know, and they try to hurt me on a daily basis. I don't like it there Yujiro-chan, Naruto told her. Yujiro narrowed her eyes as she checked over Naruto's expressions for a lie, but couldn't find any sordid thing as she looked down at her fish. He's just like me, Yujiro thought as she turned to Naruto. Yujiro poked his shoulder as Naruto looked at her in confusion. He noticed Yujiro's smile as he wondered what she was thinking. Well, I can't take you back and you certainly aren't going to make it back yourself. Do you want to come back to my village with me? I just finished my mission so I have the time, Yujiro told him. Naruto had a blank face, but smile as tears came down his eyes. Yujiro gasped as she felt Naruto crash into her chest. Thank you Yujiro-chan, but are you sure? I don't want to get you in any trouble, Naruto told her. Yujiro could only chuckle at his worry over her as she ruffled his soft hair. It'll be fine Naruto-kun. I'm sure it will, Yujiro told him. Naruto smiled with a nod as he squeezed her a little harder. Yujiro smiled as she felt a bit of warmth for Naruto's hug. After a few seconds, Naruto let Yujiro go as the blonde woman gave him another fish stick to eat, to which Naruto gratefully accepted. 
Yujito took some water from a nearby pond as she put out the fire. Naruto helped Yujito pack her stuff into her bag as she motioned for Naruto to follow her. Naruto smiled as he grabbed Yujito's hand as they walked back to Yujito's village. Back in Konoha, the Hokage is called a lot of things. They are called the best, the protectors of their village, and the strongest shinobi in the world. They have the most patience and are the most fit to let anyone. The current Hokage, Saratobi Hiruzen, wasn't patient as he paced his floor constantly. After a few minutes, an Anbu came through the door as Saratobi turned to him. Did you find Naruto-kun? Saratobi asked in a frantic manner. The Anbu shook his head in a negative as Zeratobi slumped in his chair. The one night he was supposed to visit Naruto and he got called to a meeting. Saratobi cursed as he resolved to find out whoever did this. Saratobi motioned for the Anbu to leave as Zeratobi turned to the face of the Yandame Hokage on the mountain wall. Minato, I'm so sorry. I fear that the village you trusted has ended your son. I can't tell you how sorry I am about myself in this village, Saratobi said as he waited for people to try and confirm Naruto's appearance. He then looked out the window as he saw people in the streets bustling with a party, and he could hear the shouts that people cried, such as Hore the demon is gone or I can finally have a good night's rest, without worrying about that thing rampaging around. Saratobi's heart stiffened as his gaze descended on the people of Konoha. I'm sorry Naruto-kun. I failed you, Saratobi said as he flashed to Kai when he exited the building to stop the damn party that the civilians were having. With Naruto and Yujito, both of them continued to walk out of Yuno Kuni as Yujito pulled out her map again. Naruto turned to her as he noticed the air getting colder. Yujito chan, why is it so cold all of a sudden? Naruto asked her. Yujito chuckled as she gave some warm clothes to Naruto for his comfort. We have left Yuno Kuni, Naruto san. We are now in Shimo no Kuni Frost Country, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he gripped Yujito's hand a bit more. Naruto smiled as he found a true friend in Yujito, as she seemed like a really nice woman. Yujito turned her head to see Naruto's smile and gave a confused chuckle. What are you so happy about Naruto-san? Yujito asked him. Naruto turned to her with his smile still stretched as he gave a foxy grin. You're the first real friend I had Yujito-chan. I had other friends back in Konoha, but I could tell that they were slightly afraid of me. I simply wanted friends so I ignored it. You're the first person that's been genuinely nice to me besides my Jiji and a few others, Naruto told her. Yujito gave a slight blush from the praise as she slightly scratched her cheek. Think nothing of it Naruto-san, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as Yujito decided to pique her curiosity some more. Yujito wasn't sure, but if what Naruto told her was true about his village, then it had to be possible. Naruto-san, do you know about the QB? Yujito asked him. Naruto nodded as Yujito raised an eyebrow. People said that it attacked Konoha, but was killed by the Yandame, thus saving the village. Why do you ask Yujito-chan? Naruto wondered as Yujito broke her gaze with Naruto. Nothing really Naruto-kun. Just wanted to know, Yujito told him surprising him at the change in his name. Naruto nodded slowly before looked back at the snow-covered areas as the duo continued to walk. Yujito was busy mumbling something to herself as both stopped at a vacant shack. I suppose we can stop here for the day Naruto-kun, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he turned to Yujito. Yujito unpacked a sleeping bag she gestured for Naruto to get inside. Naruto stopped for a second and turned to Yujito. Yujito looked up to see Naruto with a small blush on his face as she chuckled. Come on Naruto-san, you'll catch cold if you don't, Yujito said to him. Naruto stuttered slightly, but nodded as he calmly stepped into the sleeping bag. Naruto turned to see Yujito get in also as she gave him a hug. Naruto's blush deepened as Yujito fell asleep. It's best to converse body heat Naruto-kun, Yujito told him in a sleepy voice. Naruto slowly nodded as he tried to go to sleep, but for all his life couldn't. Due to the close contact, Naruto smelled something nice as he noticed that it originated from Yujito. She smells nice, Naruto thought as the slept overcame him. Naruto and Yujito went to sleep as they dreamed about the next day. Next morning, Yujito woke up slowly as she gave it a soft yawn. Yujito looked outside to see that it was still snowing, but not as heavily. Due to the clouds, Yujito didn't know what time of day it was as she turned to Naruto. Yujito gave a soft smile and moved her hand to motion for Naruto, but stopped as she heard him mumble. Don't look at me like that. Why do you hate me? You're talking about QB. What does it have to do with me? Naruto said in his dreams as Yujito narrowed her eyes. Yujito frowned at the dream as she shook Naruto awake. 
Naruto's eyes shot open as he turned to his new friend looking at him. Oh, yujito chan Good morning, Naruto said to her. Yujito gave an innocent smile as she wiped off a few tears that trailed Naruto's face. You were crying Naruto-kun. Are you okay? Yujito asked him. Naruto smiled with a slow nod as he rose to his feet. I'm fine Yujito-chan. I had a bad dream is all, Naruto told her. Yujito seemed satisfied with his answer as she rolled up the sleeping bag. Naruto helped her as both set out, leaving the vacant shack behind. As both walked, Naruto decided to know more about his new friend as he turned his head to her. So Yujito-chan what is Kuma like? Naruto asked her. Yujito turned to him and chuckled as she thought over his question. Well, Naruto-kun. And a word I would say. Decent. The shinobi there are strict, but most of the people are nice I guess, Yujito said to him. Naruto nodded with a smile on his face as he looked at her headband. So you're a shinobi? Naruto asked her. Yujito nodded as she pointed to her headband. That's right Naruto-kun. It's a lot of hard work, but you learn a lot of things, Yujito said to him. Naruto smirked as he stole multiple glances at Yujito's headband. Do you think I could become one also? Naruto asked her. Yujito turned to him and gave a small smile. What makes you think that you can become a shinobi? Yujito asked him with a slight tease in her voice. Naruto pouted as kicked the snow. I can. I can become a shinobi. I can become the strongest in all the nations, Naruto told her. Yujito stopped walking for a second as she held her sides in a full-blown laugh. Naruto quirked up an eyebrow at her as Yujito dropped to her knees on the snow. A shrimp like you? Now that's a funny joke Naruto-kun, Yujito said as she laughed. Naruto pouted again as he picked up a handful of snow and formed it into a ball. Naruto smirked as he threw the ball at Yujito, effectively covering her entire face in snow. Naruto chuckled as Yujito stopped laughing. Now that's funny Yujito-chan, Naruto said to her. Yujito narrowed her eyes with a gleam in one of them as she picked up the snow also. So, Naruto-kun likes to play games huh? Yujito said as she threw the snow at Naruto. Naruto managed to dodge the snowball as he picked up his own and threw it at Yujito. Yujito laughed along with Naruto as the two went into a good all-fashioned snowball fight that lasted a few minutes. Naruto huffed while Yujito grabbed his hand again. Then become the strongest Naruto-kun. I'll become the strongest Kanoichi, Yujito said to him. Naruto nodded as he smiled. The strongest Kanoichi should stand along with the strongest strongest male shinobi, Naruto told her. Yujito blushed as she wondered what Naruto could have meant by that. Naruto noticed her blush as he cocked his head to the side in confusion. Naruto was simply talking about being friends or rivals. It wasn't a reason to get embarrassed. Naruto decided to let it go as both continued their trek to Kumagakur. Kumagakur, two days later, Naruto and Yujito came up to the village as Naruto gasped at the giant gates that held the village inside. Both passed through as Yujito flashed her identification to the gate guards. Naruto looked and at the village as he saw all the buildings and structures inside. Yujito chuckled at his happiness as she took his hand as walked him through Kumo. Well Naruto-kun, let's go meet with Raikage-sama. I'm sure he'll want to meet you, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded to her as both walked toward the Raikage mansion. Naruto looked over everything as he wondered where Yujito lived. After walking, both came up to the mansion and entered as Yujito made it to the top floor. Yujito knocked on the door as she waited for her presence to be known. Come in, the person yelled as Yujito entered. Yujito gave a slight bow as she entered. Naruto noticed the man along with someone next to him that he assumed was the Raikage's brother. Mission accomplished Raikage-sama, Yujito told him. Raikage nodded with a slight smile as he saw someone behind Yujito. Yujito smiled as she stepped aside to show Naruto in front of the man. Naruto saw that the man was big. He was dark-skinned and had blonde dreads across his head. He had massive muscles as he didn't wear a shirt. He had on dark blue pants and seemed to wear golden wristbands on his arms. Naruto gave a bow to him as he tried his best to smile. H hello, sir. I am Naruto Uzumaki, Naruto said to him. Raikage nodded as he turned to Yujito for an explanation. Yujito began to long explanation as she told Raikage how she met Naruto and how he told her about Kanoha. Raikage narrowed his eyes at all the new information as from what Yujito told him, Naruto must have been the QB Jinchuriki. Raikage nodded as Yujito managed to finish. So Naruto, you're from Kanoha huh? Raikage asked him. Naruto immediately nodded as he wondered what the problem was. Raikage muttered to himself for a second, but gave a small chuckle as he looked at Naruto. So that's why you don't want to go back? 
he told the blonde boy. Naruto nodded with a small frown as Raikage turned to Yujito with a small smile. Well Yujito Nai. You found him and you're going to watch him. He said he's going to be the strongest shinobi right? He asked to which Yujito chuckled but nodded nonetheless. Raikage turned to the kid as Naruto stood up straight. Well, you, Karabi will train him to be a good shinobi, Raikage said to him. Yujito nodded with a bow as Naruto turned to the man next to the Raikage. Naruto smiled as he saw the man walk up to him. Hey yo kid. I see you hanging with Yugi-chan. You an alright boy. Eight's gonna teach you real good. Be prepared for da famous B-sama's training, Karabi rapped as Naruto, Yujito, and Raikage sweat dropped. Yujito leaned next to Naruto and smiled. You'll get used to him in no time Naruto-kun, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded to her while he turned to see Karabi with his fist out. Naruto looked at it confused but put up his own as he bumped fists with Karabi. You a good kid. I look forward to training you. Be prepared for me oh yeah. Karabi said to him. Naruto chuckled with a nod as he and Yujito turned to leave along with Karabi leaving Raikage in the room. It seems that the kid will get stronger. I have oh say that Kanoha is quite sad for doing such a thing to the boy. Oh well, it's past. This village is going to get more interesting, Raikage said as he continued to do his paperwork. With Yujito, Naruto, and Karabi, all three exited the office as they came back to the village district. Yujito continued to hold Naruto's hand while Karabi walked along with them. Yujito turned to Naruto and smiled. Want me to show you around the village Naruto-kun? Yujito asked him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he ran a bit ahead. Karabi smirked as Yujito turned to him. What's so funny? She asked him. Karabi soon made a beat as Yujito sighed. I see Miss Two Tails getting close to Little Nine. I feel the sparks coming up from you too. Two Tails got a thing for Lil Nine, Karabi said to her. Yujito blushed with a stutter as she huffed, much to Karabi's entertainment. Both turned back to see Naruto waving at them as they walked up to him to show the blonde around the village for his first him. Naruto continued to walk into the village as Karabi and Yujito followed after him. Naruto had a never-ending smile on his face on his face as he looked over the place. Yujito walked a bit faster to catch up with Naruto along with Karabi. Yujito having caught up to Naruto stopped him for a minute as Naruto turned around to face her. Yujito gave him a soft smile as Karabi managed to catch up to the two. Well Naruto-kun, do you want to go home first or pick up your stuff for your training? Yujito asked him. Naruto gave her a foxy grin as he shrugged his shoulders. I don't really mind what we do first Yujito-chan. I'm not tired if that's what you're wondering. Can we get my stuff first? Naruto asked her. Yujito nodded with a chuckle as she, Naruto and Karabi walked towards a weapon shop. Karabi turned his head to the right and smiled as he pointed to a weapons. Hey yo Gaki. That place right here is da perfect place for you. Trust in da famous B sama's instincts, Karabi rapped as Naruto and Yujito turned to the shop. Naruto's interest sparkled as he ran into the store as Yujito and Karabi followed. Naruto opened the door as he heard the bell ring signifying his presence along with his two new friends as he looked around the shop. Naruto stared in awe of everything as he wondered what he should get for his training. Naruto looked around as his eyes stopped on a few kunai and shuriken packs. Yujito and Karabi stayed near the door as they wanted to see how Naruto shopped and if he would need their help with anything. Naruto, having spent most of his days running from the villagers and their tantrums about him, knew about the type of weapons which were good to use. Naruto picked up six standard kunai and shuriken sets and took them to the counter for purchase. Yujito turned to the cashier and smiled as she pulled out her wallet. How much for all this stuff? Yujito asked the man. Naruto was expecting to be turned away, but surprisingly he wasn't as the cashier went through everything and added the total. For all this at 770. 30 yen, the man said to her. Yujito nodded as she took out the required amount of money and paid the man. Naruto looked around the place a bit more as Karabi came up to him. Hey kid, you gonna be my student. We gonna have Ta get you two cool swords for Da training, B told him. Naruto chuckled with a nod as B looked around the store for a sword for Naruto. B stopped at a katana and gave a big grin as he took the sword. Yo kid, check this piece of steel out. What do you think? B said to Naruto. Naruto noticed the sword as he pulled it out of the sheath and gasped at the steel. It was pure white and rather long and heavy, but Naruto felt that he could hold it firmly in his hand without too much trouble. B nodded while he turned to the next sword. B took the second sword and inspected it as he looked at the one Naruto was holding. B nodded as he gave a thumbs up to Naruto. 
Naruto smiled as he too the sword from B and looked it over. Naruto, being a bit simple-minded due to his age, could only hop up and down with excitement around the store. Yujito motioned for Naruto to put the swords on the counter as the man rag up the price for the two weapons as Yujito got ready to pay but was stopped by B. Whoa there Yugi-chan. I'll take care of these two swords. The boy and I gonna have a real fun time with these, B told her. Yujito gave B a blank look but nodded as she backed away. B walked up to the man and took out some money. What's da price for these swords baby? B asked as the store owner sweat dropped. The cost is 26,960. 50 yen, the man said to B. B gasped as he stepped back and placed his hand over his heart. The people are ruthless. They gonna bleed me dry. I can't take much more of this, B said as Yujito face palmed herself. Naruto chuckled at his antics as B paid for the swords. Naruto, Yujito, and B collected everything and walked to Yujito's house, which wasn't very far. Yujito's house, everyone arrived at Yujito's house as Naruto took in its features. The house wasn't small, but it wasn't big either. It looked rather quaint for a living space. The house had a bunch of slid in doors as Yujito opened the front door for Naruto and B. Naruto came into the house as he took off some shoes along with B. Yujito took them to the living room as everyone set Naruto's things on the couch. Everyone sat in the room a bit as B and Yujito glanced at Naruto for a few minutes. Naruto feeling their stares turned to each of them and made a blank face as he wondered why they were staring. What's wrong? Naruto asked them. Yujito and B turned to each other and nodded as Yujito sat a bit closer to Naruto and placed her hand on his shoulder. Naruto-kun, do you remember when you told me how you were treated back in Konoha? Yujito told him. Naruto nodded as he wondered where this was going but didn't think too hard about it. B narrowed his eyes behind his glasses as a frown became visible on his face. Yujito decided to continue as she braced Naruto for their news. Naruto-kun, we think you are one of the containers of Abiju, Yujito told him. Naruto raised an eyebrow at the new word and gave a confused look. What's Abiju? Naruto asked her. Yujito turned to B as he had the most experience in things like that as B stood up. Abiju is also known as a tailed beast. They are literally large amounts of chakra that are given a human form. People tend to fear them for their power and all are placed inside a host or as people call them Jinchuriki, B finished as Naruto took the words in. Naruto was finally beginning to understand. The glares, the hunts, and the constant neglect. All if it was beginning to make sense as Naruto looked down at the floor. So I'm a Jinchuriki? Naruto asked them. Yujito and B nodded as they knew Naruto had to hear this. Naruto nearly cried as Yujito took him into a hug. But you aren't a demon Naruto-kun. Don't let anyone tell you any different, Yujito told him. Naruto stayed silent for a few minutes as B and Yujito wondered if they should have told him this early. Naruto looked back up at them and gave them a small reassuring smile that he was okay to continue with the conversation. B and Yujito took the suggestion as Naruto decided to ask a question. So how many Biju are there? And which one do I have? Naruto asked them. Yujito and B glanced at each other and nodded as they turned back to Naruto. There are a total of nine Biju in the world. I would have to figure that you have the QB, B told him. Naruto raised an eyebrow at him as he wondered about it. So does that mean I have the strongest Biju in terms of the number of tails? Naruto asked them with a little excitement in his voice. Yujito and B chuckled as they wondered if they were worried for nothing. Yeah Naruto-kun, you have the strongest Biju. I'm actually surprised it didn't overtake you, Yujito told him. Naruto shuddered at the feeling of being overtaken by someone, but dismissed the thought as he turned back to B and Yujito. So how do you two know so much about the Biju? Naruto asked them. B and Yujito smirked as B pointed to himself. Please Gaki, you looking at the Da famous Jinchuriki of Da Hachibi, B told him. Naruto gasped as he turned to Yujito. Yujito chuckled as she pointed to herself also. I'm the Jinchuriki of the Nibi, Yujito told him. Naruto gasped a bit wider as both Jinchuriki chuckled at his reaction. Why you're both Jinchuriki? Naruto asked them still in slight wonder of them. Both nodded with smiles on their faces as Naruto stood up. Can you talk to your Biju? Naruto asked them. Both sent him a blank look before bursting out in laughter. Naruto blushed in slight embarrassment as he wondered if he said something wrong. Both calmed down soon enough as Yujito decided to answer Naruto's question. Yes we can Naruto-kun. It's one of the many things Jinchuriki can do along with accessing their respective Biju's chakra. We have to train to use it effectively, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded in understanding as he sat on the floor. 
Can I talk to mine? Naruto asked with the word excited written over his face. Yujito's sweat dropped while B gave a thumbs up to Naruto as he sat down also. Sure kid. Just sat down right there and focus for a few seconds. You will know where you are soon enough, B told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he sat in a meditative pose and concentrated for a few minutes. Naruto opened his eyes as he stared at the sewer-like structure that was his mind. Naruto walked around for a while as he came up to some giant gates, as his eyes zoomed in a small piece of paper that said seal. Naruto walked up to the gates, but couldn't see anyone as he decided to be a little reckless and walked past the gates. Naruto walked deeper past the gates until he turned his head fast. Naruto looked around, but saw no one as he continued deeper. Naruto couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched as he stopped for a second and looked at the water. Naruto gasped softly as he saw a tall figure behind him. Naruto moved his eyes to the side as he saw the figure give a smile as she placed her hand on his shoulder. Naruto gasped as he turned around fast and accidentally dropped in the water as he stared at a red-haired woman. The woman had a blank look on her face, but chuckled then laughed as she held her sides. Naruto huffed as he glared at her which only served to make her smile more. Naruto smirked as he got up and splashed some of the water at her. Said woman stopped laughing as she looked at her wet clothes. The woman glared at Naruto, but stopped as she saw his smile. The woman softly chuckled and began to wring out her wet hair. Naruto sat down as he looked up at her. I'm sorry for that. I couldn't help myself, Naruto told her. The woman turned to him and chuckled again as she sat down across from him. It's alright I guess. I love a good joke, she told him. Naruto nodded as he smiled at her. So who are you? Naruto asked her. Said woman scratched the side of her cheek and gave a small grin. I'm QB. I'm your biju Naruto-kun, QB told him. Naruto widened his eyes as he stared at the hot-looking woman in front of him. Naruto was totally surprised. To him, QB seemed like the nicest person aside from Yujito chan and Kurabi. QB chuckled as she stood up deciding to answer Naruto's unspoken question. I'm in my human form. I don't use the giant fox form that most people see me as often as I should, QB responded bringing Naruto out of his days. Naruto absently nodded as he steadily rose to his feet also. How do people call you scarier demon? You seem so nice, Naruto told her. QB hit a small blush that Naruto missed as she shrugged her shoulders. I know. It's like people haven't seen a giant foe with nine tails before, QB said with a pout. Naruto broke out into a laugh as he wondered if having a biju was this exciting for Yujito and B. They probably haven't QB Chan. Don't you think people would be scared of a giant fox with nine tails? Naruto asked her. QB stopped her pout, but crossed her arms and closed her eyes as she nodded. Well it's not my fault that people are cowards. I'm generally peaceful. I'm the type of person if left alone will leave others alone. You're the only person not to be afraid of me, QB told him. Naruto's sweat dropped as he scratched his cheek. Well you didn't show up as a giant fox, so I think that had something to do with it, Naruto told her. QB widened her eyes slightly and nodded as both she and Naruto sat back down to have a small conversation. So to what do I owe the pleasure of seeing my landlord? QB asked him. Naruto smirked as he rubbed the back of his head. I came to see if I could talk to you like Yujito chan and B. They told me that it wasn't hard to do and I just came here to see you. I wanted to know if you wanted to be friends or at least acquaintances, Naruto told her. QB cocked her head to the side as she raised an eyebrow. You want to be friends with the main cause for your former village's hatred of you? QB asked him. Naruto's smile faltered a bit, but came back fast as Naruto crashed into her giving her a hug. QB gasped as this was the last thing she expected from him as Naruto decided to speak. From how you were earlier I can only wonder if you did it on purpose or accidentally, Naruto told her. QB chuckled as Naruto let go and stepped back. Naruto reached out his hand and allowed QB to stand. QB raised an eyebrow again at his kindness. Seeing his smile, QB nearly lost her mind as she took a deep breath and let her feelings go. Why don't you hate me? I more than half expected you to shout at me when I told you my name. How are you not mad that I made your life miserable? QB nearly shouted causing Naruto's smile to fade as he looked at the ground. QB gasped as she slightly covered her mouth and looked at Naruto. QB frowned as Naruto continued to look at the ground. Naruto-kun? QB said wondering if she did something wrong. Naruto's eyes slowly came back up as he showed a bright determination in them. QB was taken aback by the fire in his eyes as Naruto gave her his best smile. I can't say for sure if you're at fault or not QB-chan, but I highly doubt you're evil. 
If you were evil you wouldn't have been such good company. I'm sure you and I can be friends, Naruto told her. QB widened her eyes as Naruto stuck out his hand at her. Well QB Chan? Will you help me become a great shinobi along with you Jito Chan? Naruto asked her. QB seemed too stunned to answer, but slowly brought out her hand as she shook Naruto's hand. Naruto gave her his trademark smile as QB gave him a soft smile. Naruto soon got a gleam in his eye, which made QB shudder slightly as Naruto sat back down. All right QB Chan, let's talk terms of agreement, Naruto told her. QB dropped her jaw slightly at his new behavior, but chuckled with a nod soon enough as she sat down. Outside the mindscape, Yujito and B continued to watch Naruto as they wondered what was going on inside his mind. Yujito almost grew slightly concerned as B reassured her that Naruto would be fine. Yujito sighed as they continued to watch Naruto as Zed Blonde opened his eyes. As Naruto opened his eyes he met the intense gazes of Yujito and B on him, as they wanted to know what happened with Naruto and QB. Naruto smiled as a way of taunting them which worked really well on Yujito, as she tapped her arm repeatedly waiting for Naruto's answer. So kid. How did it go? Hanging with Doc QB? B asked him. Naruto smiled as he decided to answer B's question and Yujito's unspoken questions. It went very well. She's quite nice and really cute. She's not at all mean like people say she is. If anything, she's quite the prankster, Naruto told them. Yujito and B raised a few curious eyebrows at his word as they wondered what the two talked about. Naruto took a small breath as he continued. She said we could be friends, and we even struck a deal with each other, Naruto told them. And what kind of deal was that? Yujito asked with a slight worry for Naruto in her voice. Naruto chuckled as he turned to Yujito to answer her question. We struck a deal that allows me to currently use two tails of her chakra, since I would have to wait to control the others. In that exchange, she gets access to my senses, but I can cut her off if I want to. We also stay in telepathic contact for our own special purposes, Naruto told them. B and Yujito nodded in understanding as Yujito sighed. What's wrong Yujito-chan? Naruto asked her as B turned to her also. Yujito looked from Naruto to B and back as she shrugged her shoulders. I'm jealous Naruto-kun. QB sounds very reasonable for a biju. At least your biju doesn't have a perverted mind, Yujito said as Naruto and B raised their eyebrows at her. That's mean kitten. I'm not perverted. Much. However, little Naruto is so cute. Can I have him kitten? Nibi asked her as Yujito forced back a blush from coming to her face. Yujito sighed again as she decided to take to her tenant. Nibi why are you always like this? You are perverted. Ever since I met Naruto-kun, you've been assaulting me with questions of why I don't claim him for a mate. How wrong are you Nibi? Yujito asked in thought as Nibi chuckled in her cage. It's not my fault that little Naruto-kun's got that fire in his eyes, that would just make any woman. Don't you dare finish that sentence Nibi. Yujito yelled out in thought as Nibi laughed in her cage. Maybe you should stop focusing on me and look back to Naruto-kun and B, cause to them you've been making weird faces for a while now, Nibi told her. Yujito snapped out of her connection to Nibi as she did indeed see Naruto and B looking at her, like she had gone insane with her emotions that ranged from blushing to slight irritation. Yujito blushed from the embarrassment as she slowly opened her mouth. What are you two looking at? B, shouldn't you start training Naruto-kun? You should go do that, Yujito said fast as she ran out the living room. Naruto sweat dropped along with B as Zed Man stood to his beat. She's right Lil Nine. No time to be sitting around. Let's go out back and I will begin your training, B told him. Naruto nodded as B gave him a change of clothes as Naruto grabbed all of his equipment and ran out back with B to begin his training. With Yujito, Yujito ran up to her room and closed the door as she tried to calm the blush from the embarrassing scene she just had. While she tried to get her blush down, Yujito could only narrow her eyes as she heard Nibi laughing as she rolled around in her cage. Yujito sighed as she wondered why she had to endure the most pervert-minded biju out of all the nine. With B and Naruto, B and Naruto stood in the back of the house as Naruto waited for B's training. Naruto placed all his weapons in a pouch, but left his swords in the house, as he wasn't ready to use those just yet. B smirked as his new student. Alright lil nine. We gonna start you off on some endurance training. You ain't got the body you ain't gonna get the control. Start doing some push-ups and sit-ups and laps around the house until I stop you, B told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he start doing his push-ups just like B ordered. B nodded as he left Naruto outside and went inside the house. B sat on the couch and sighed as he decided to talk to his biju. So you have hopes for that kid? 
The Hitchibi asked his partner. B smirked as he laid on the Hitchibi's forehead. He's a good kid. He'll go far. I'm sure of it. He's even got Miss QB on his side, B said as Hitchibi made a low grumble. She always did have weird interests when it came to guys. She's just like Nibi, Hitchibi said as B began to rap, much to his tenant's annoyance. Hey yo both QB and Nibi got a thing for Lil Nine. Lil Nine is quite the man for a boy. That kid knows how to do his thing without even knowing it, B rapped as Hitchibi sweat dropped at his actions. Remind me why we're partners again. I'm sure I must have been insane at the time, Hitchibi said to B. B gasped as he fell back on Hitchibi's head. Oh my heart's a bleeding. My partner is a cold-hearted octo bull, B rapped again, as Hitchibi wondered how he could kill B without himself dying to relieve himself of his partner's rapping. Later that day, Naruto huffed as he dropped to the ground in exhaustion of his efforts as he felt the burning or his arms and legs from the stamina training. B came out of the house and clapped as Naruto glared at the man. Good job Lil Nine. You got some impressive stamina there. That's all for today. You lasted longer than I thought you would, B told him. Naruto sighed as he dropped to the ground with a smile on his face, as B plopped the boy on his shoulder and walked into the house. By this time, Yujito was out of her room as she saw the exhausted Naruto on B's shoulder. You sure made him endure that stamina training, Yujito said as B put Naruto on the couch. B turned to Yujito and smirked as he threw his hands out. Da kid's tough Yugi Chan. I've never seen so much energy in one kid since you. He's going to be interesting, B said as Yujito rolled her eyes at his rapping, never seeing the purpose to it, but didn't say anything. Yujito looked at Naruto's sleeping face. Yujito gave a small smile which didn't go unnoticed by B as the man smiled. Wanna kiss his cheek Yugi-chan? B asked as Yujito gave a small blush as she stuttered at his question. Eh shut it B. I'm not like that, Yujito said as she stormed off into the kitchen to make Naruto something to eat for when he woke up. B chuckled as he, just like Nibi, wasn't going to let this go so easily. For both it was always rare to see a flustered Yujito as she was never interesting in any type of guy. Neither B nor Nibi were going to let her live without doing this on a daily basis. They both just found a good source for entertainment. Nighttime, Naruto squinted his eyes as he opened them to see he was on the couch in the living room. Naruto struggled to get up, but for all his life couldn't as the pain in his arms and legs weighed him down. QB decided to speak as she heard Naruto struggle. You know the saying Naruto-kun. No pain no gain, QB told him. Naruto chuckled as he withstood the pain from his chuckle, as he decided to respond to QB in her remark. Whoever said that obviously had a few problems in the head, Naruto replied. QB stifled a laugh as her jailer, but nodded in agreement as Naruto turned to see Yujito coming downstairs to see him awake. Oh Naruto-kun, you're up. Well I made you some dinner so let's go eat, Yujito told him. At the sound of the word food Naruto forgot the pain and moved fast the kitchen as Yujito saw only a yellow blur run past her. Yujito turned her head to the kitchen to see Naruto waiting for her as she entered the room. Yujito prepared a plate for Naruto, while Naruto took out the chair for Yujito. Yujito accepted the gesture of gentlemanliness as she sat down in the chair. Naruto sat in his own seat as both said grace and dug into the food. Naruto gasped as he gave a wide smile as Yujito looked at his reaction. How is it? Yujito asked him. Naruto smiled with a quick nod of approval. It's amazing Yujito-chan. You're a good cook. I love it, Naruto told her. Yujito chuckled with a nod as she ate her food also. Naruto looked around the room, then turned back to Yujito. Where is B-san? Naruto asked her. Yujito swallowed her food as she decided to answer Naruto's question. He left a while ago. He said he would come tomorrow for more of your training. I'll be helping tomorrow also so it'll be a bit tougher for you, Yujito told him with a playful voice. Naruto groaned as he wondered how he got such a fate. He also said he would bring you some clothes tomorrow, since we didn't get you any today, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded as he finished his food along with Yujito, as Naruto looked around while Yujito grabbed a glass of milk. Where do I sleep Yujito-chan? Naruto asked her. Yujito smiled as she took him to the extra room she had while drinking her glass of milk. Yujito opened the door as Naruto came inside. This is your room Naruto-kun. Use it well. You can bring your stuff in later. For now, you should get some sleep for tomorrow, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded in agreement as Yujito closed the door. See you tomorrow Yujito-chan, Naruto told her. Yujito smiled with a nod as she left. Naruto glanced over his room as he took off the clothes that B gave him. Naruto stayed in his t-shirt and boxers as he climbed into bed.
Well this was an interesting day, Naruto said as he heard the soft voice of his tenant. I'll say it was. I got to meet my jailer and he is quite the good guy. I'm glad I made a deal with him, QB said as Naruto nodded. I'm glad also QB Chan. Well I have to go to sleep. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Naruto said to her. QB nodded as she spoke before breaking the connection. Good night Naruto kun. Talk to you tomorrow or I'll assault your dreams with certain images, QB said with a smirk. Naruto shuddered slightly as he opened his eyes fast. You wouldn't dare. Naruto said as QB scoffed. Try me Naruto kun, QB told him. Naruto cursed as he closed his eyes and turned off the lights, knowing that he was going to be tired tomorrow morning. Back in Kanoha, people still seemed to be celebrating the fact that the hated QB brat was gone as Zeratobi looked in shame of his village. While doing some paperwork, someone shunshined into the office messing up the papers. Saratobi looked at the person and could tell they were far from happy. Saratobi, what the hell do you mean you lost Naruto? The man said as Zeratobi looked down at the desk. I'm sorry Jiraiya, but we have no idea where he is. I'm still hoping that they didn't kill him. I don't know what to do, Saratobi told him. Jiraiya cursed as he slammed his hand into the wall, cracking it slightly, making some of the anbu hidden in the room flinch in fear. Jiraiya turned to leave as Zeratobi stopped him. Jiraiya where are you going? Saratobi asked as Jiraiya scoffed at his sensei. I'm going to find my godson. I can't believe I left him like this. Saratobi if I find out that these villagers killed him. You, them, and anyone else better pray to Kami that I don't find the people who did do it or I will unleash all hell on them, Jiraiya said with a face that made even Saratobi sweat. Saratobi sighed with a nod as he sat back in his chair as Jiraiya walked out the room. I'm sorry for all of this Minato. I should have done better with protecting your son. You must be so distraught at your villagers for how they are acting, Saratobi said he sighed and went back to his paperwork. Back in Kumo, the night air reigned in Kanoha as the full moon was in full bloom over the sky. Naruto slept peacefully in his new bed as he silently cursed his luck of having QB put images of a certain blonde woman in Naruto's mind as he slept. Naruto grumbled quietly as he spoke in his sleep. I'm gonna make you regret this QB Chan, Naruto said in sleepy voice which made QB chuckle at his embarrassment over the dream she was sending him. QB was going to have so much fun with her new partner. She just knew it for a fact. Naruto came out of his room with a smile on his face as he was ready for another day of training with B and Yujido. Naruto had gotten used to life in Kumo and could honestly say that Kumo was much better than Kanoha ever was. Naruto's was much liked by most of Kumo, as the blonde always brought a smile to people's faces. Like B and Yujito, Naruto didn't attend the academy, so it was up to B and Yujito to help him with his own studies and training. Naruto grimaced as he remembered that Yujito was a strict person when it came to train. Two weeks ago, Naruto could say that he had been put through hell with Yujito's training. Yujito had him go through so many physical exercises that he couldn't lift his arms for the first three days. Naruto however, never complained as he found Yujito's softer side when they weren't training. Naruto and Yujito became closer over the few weeks as Yujito managed to teach Naruto about what chakra was along with giving him his first jutsu. B gave Naruto some chakra paper to find out his affinity. To their shock, Naruto had an affinity for Fuitin, Raten and Katen, which made things perfect for them. Yujito decided to teach Naruto his first Katen Jutsu, which involved making multiple fire cats and firing them at enemies. Naruto managed to make an adaptation of it and decided to make foxes instead of cats out of some kind of respect for QB. Naruto and QB also got closer as QB found Naruto entertaining in more ways than one. For QB, Naruto was certainly the best way to pass the time while being in a cage. QB managed to teach Naruto the Kage Bunshin Jutsu, since she felt he earned it for forgiving her. Needless to say, when Yujito found out about it. Naruto could almost hate QB for giving him the damn Jutsu. Naruto walked from his room to the shower door and knocked so as not to have a repeat of the last time, to which Naruto and Yujito couldn't stare at each other for a whole day. Yujito chan are you in there? Naruto asked. Silence reigned in the bathroom as Naruto gulped and twisted the handle on the door. Naruto opened the door and looked around to see no one inside and sighed as he took off his clothes. Naruto grabbed a towel and stepped into the shower. Naruto's had become slightly taller thanks to his training and his body grew more defined. Muscles started to be evident, but not too much so. Naruto allowed the warm water to wash off his body as he scrubbed his blonde hair. Naruto stayed in the warm water for about 10 minutes, then left and went back to his room. 
Naruto wore a dark red muscle shirt with some tight black jeans as he strapped the two swords that B bought him on his back. Naruto looked into mirror and nodded with an approving grin as he left his room. Naruto came into the kitchen to see Yujito at the table with a bowl of soup and rice, along with a plate of fish. Naruto found it weird that Yujito could like fish so much, but decided to think it had something to do with Nibi being a cat. Naruto sat down to his breakfast and gave a small smile to Yujito. Good morning Yujito-chan, Naruto said to her. Yujito looked up from her food and smiled as she set the food down on the table. Good morning Naruto-kun. Are you ready to continue your training? Yujito asked him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he took his chopsticks and ate his breakfast with Yujito in silence. Both finished their dishes rather quickly as they put both their dishes in the sink and left. Naruto decided to do his usual and ran a few laps around the hours while Yujito did some stretches. Naruto noticed one very weird position she was in as he wondered how her body could be that flexible. It's one of the benefits of being the Nibi Jinchuriki, QB said deciding to include herself in Naruto's thoughts. Ah good morning QB chan. So that's why she can do that. It looks painful, Naruto said to which QB laughed. For other people it would be painful. Those aren't stretches that a normal human can do, QB told him. Naruto nodded as he continued to run, oblivious to the conversation Yujito was having with her own tenant. I'm telling you kitten, you should take him now before any other girls try to get him. You can't lose such a stunning young man kitten, Nibi said as Yujito rolled her eyes in frustration and annoyance. Yujito tried to ignore her tenant, but having Nibi connected to her thoughts wasn't the best of ideas. Nibi, leave me alone. Why are you trying to set me up with Naruto-kun? I'm eight years older than him. You seem to be quite into my love life lately, Yujito thought as Nibi twirled around her cage in laughter at Yujito's words, which made the blonde woman raise an eyebrow as she wondered what was so funny. What love life kitten? You haven't been interested in any guy that has approached you. You're the one who's quite popular with the guys, yet you're too stubborn. As far as I'm concerned, Naruto-kun's the only one you've let get close to you since B and Raika gay, Nibi said, as if she was trying to make a point to which she was. Yujito sighed as she ended her stretching and got down on the ground to do some sit-ups. We're not discussing this Nibi. Besides I don't think Naruto-kun would like me anyway, Yujito said as she have to finish her warm-up sit, completely oblivious to Nibi's devious smile. Really? Because I've noticed him stealing a few glances at you over the past few weeks. He was even looking at you a few minutes ago, Nibi said which caused Yujito to subtly stop in mid-rise of her sit-up. Yujito took a glance to her left to see Naruto doing some push-ups, but for some reason his eyes weren't looking at the ground. More like they were trying to avoid hers. Yujito gave a slight blush as Nibi rolled around in her cage with a laugh. Yujito stopped her sit-ups and walked over to Naruto as the blonde finished his set and sat on the ground. Yujito sat next to Naruto and stole a glance at him as she decided to start the training. All right then Naruto-kun, let's with you going over some chakra control exercises. You are going to climb this mountain top using nothing but your chakra. I want you to keep this up until B arrives, Yujito said to him. Naruto nodded as he applied chakra to his feet and ran at the mountain. Yujito decided to do that same as she followed after Naruto. Yujito ran up the mountain with a smile on her face as she passed Naruto who gasped at her speed. No fair Yujito-chan, Naruto yelled which caused Yujito to turn her head while continuing to run. Life's not fair Naruto-kun, Yujito yelled back to him. Naruto gave a hidden smirk across his face as he formed a simple hand sign. Kage bunsha no jutsu, Naruto yelled as eight clones came into existence. All the clones smirked as one of them grabbed the real Naruto's feet. All the clones continued to grab the other's feet until the last one came as he twirled them all. Yujito turned her head and gasped as she saw seven Naruto's skyrocket up to her. Naruto's eyes met Yujito's eyes for a split second, but he passed her as the other six came in front of her. It seems life is fairer to me than you Yujito-chan, Naruto said as he disappeared into the clouds. Yujito narrowed her eyes with a slight grin as she pumped more chakra into her feet and sprinted off. Naruto was feeling good as the wind brushed his face. Naruto planted his feet back onto the mountain and ran, but gasped as he slowly slid back down. Naruto noticed that the mountain was steeper than before and had to be careful. Naruto slowly walked up the steep mountainside and could only wonder how far he had gone. Naruto then made the mistake of looking down and dropped his jaw as he saw how small Yujito's house was from the height. Naruto's vision blurred slightly as he turned back around fast. No to self. Never look down ever again, Naruto thought to himself. 
Naruto managed to keep up his chakra control as he felt himself breathing a lot harder now. Naruto can't stop. Yujito yelled as Naruto turned his head to see Yujito not far behind him. Naruto obeyed as he waited for Yujito to catch up to him. Yujito wasted no time and came up to Naruto with a slight smile. I didn't expect you to get this far up the mountain. You should come back down now. The further you go, the harder it is to breathe. You even got further than I did when I tried it. Right here is where most chunin to low jounin level people are. I'm impressed, Yujito told Naruto. Naruto gave a grin from the praise as he and Yujito descended the mountain. Naruto found his breathing much easier as he stared back at the mountain. Naruto suddenly gave a small smile as Yujito, Nibi, and QB sweat dropped. I better watch him now. He's going to try and conquer the mountain. Why shouldn't I be surprised by that? Yujito thought as the two Jinchuriki turned back to see B waiting for them. Hey you fools. I saw you trying to tackle Da Mountain. You gotta aim higher to be jet and stronger, B said as Naruto and Yujito nodded in agreement. Yujito walked up to B and turned back to Naruto. So what are we teaching him today? We've warmed up enough and I was going to review the Kage Bunshin Jutsu with him, but after that exercise, I think he's got that down. So what do we do? Yujito asked B. B took a thinking pose as Naruto waited for his instructions. How's Da Kids to Jutsu coming? B asked her. Yujito turned back to Naruto and gave a soft smile. It's coming well. I didn't teach him the academy style as it has too many faults in it. So I simply taught him my Niko to Jutsu. Thanks to QB, Naruto seems to use it quite well, I should say almost as good as me, Yujito responded. B nodded with a grin which made Yujito slightly nervous. Naruto raised an eyebrow at both of them as B walked up to Naruto. Hey Lil Nine, I think you're ready to be a genin now, B said as Naruto's eyes beamed and Yujito dropped her jaw slightly. B gave him a thumbs up as Yujito placed her hand on B's shoulder. B don't you think that's rushing it? Normally all the academy students graduate at either 11 or 12. Naruto-kun might be too young to start his career as a shinobi, Yujito said, knowing the dangers of actual ninja duty. B smirked as he turned to Yujito and placed his arm on Naruto's shoulder. Don't be like that Yugi-chan. I was a genin at age 10. You were a genin at 9. Why shouldn't Lil 9 become one at 8? B asked her. Yujito wanted to say something, but couldn't as she knew B had a point. Both of them were given special exceptions in becoming genin early. Yujito sighed as she looked from B to Naruto and back. Yujito walked up to Naruto and smiled. I think Naruto-kun should decide. It's his future after all, Yujito said to B. B nodded in agreement as both turned to Naruto. Naruto took a thinking pose for a few minutes to decide and smiled as he turned to the two Jinchuriki. I would like to become a genin, Naruto told them. Yujito gave a small smile while B nodded. Da kids made his choice Yugi-chan. Let's take him to bro, B said to her. Yujito nodded as the three Jinchuriki went to the Raikage mansion to update Raikage about Naruto. Raikage mansion, Raikage simply doing paperwork as he mentally cursed the large stacks of documents to his left. Raikage sighed as he wondered if he could simply burn the paper with his rate and affinity. Raikage was soon brought out of his rage by the sound of the door opening to see his assistant come in through the door. Sorry to disturb you Raikage-sama, but you have guests, the dark-colored woman said to him. Raikage thanked the heavens for whoever it was and grinned at her. Thank you Mabui. Send them in, Raikage said to her. Mabui nodded and quickly left as Raikage wondered who it was that wanted to see him. After five minutes of waiting, Raikage saw the door open again to see B, Naruto, and Yujito come through the door. Hey bro, how's it going with da paperwork? B asked while Raikage grumbled. Naruto chuckled as, but stopped as everyone got serious. Raikage turned to Naruto and smiled. Haven't seen you for a while kid. How you been? He decided to ask. Naruto smiled and stepped forward. I've been good eh sama, Naruto said to him. Raikage nodded as he turned to Yujito. So what's the matter? Raikage asked them. B and Yujito turned to each other and nodded as they turned back to Raikage. We believe that Naruto-kun is ready to become a genin for Kumo, Yujito said to him. Raikage raised an eyebrow at them, then looked down at Naruto. Are you too sure? He's only been here a month and a few weeks, Raikage asked them. Yujito and B nodded with confidence as they brought Naruto forward. And thanks to our training he is currently stronger than any fresh out of the academy student. The kid's more than ready for this bro, B said with a thumbs up. Raikage turned to Yujito then B and then to Naruto. 
Raikage smirked as he got up from his desk and walked until he was in front of Naruto. So you're ready to become a genin? Raikage asked. Naruto immediately nodded with a confident grin as Raikage smirked. All right then. Normally you would have to wait like all the other kids, but I don't think there's anything that really normal about you, Raikage said, aiming for that to be in a nice way. Naruto managed to pick up on that and nodded as Raikage brought B and Yujito to his side. All right Naruto. You will go through three parts of this exam. First is the written exam, second is the jutsu portion, and third is a little spar with either Yujito or B here, Raikage told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as Raikage motioned for Mabui. Yes Raikage-sama? Mabui said as she looked briefly at Naruto and gave a small smile which Naruto returned with his own smile. Take Naruto to an examination room and give him a written exam. Apparently he wasn't to be the youngest kid to become a genin, Raikage said to which Mabui chuckled. Mabui nodded and took Naruto's hand as both left the main room. Yujito and B smiled at each other as they decided to wait for Naruto to be finished. Naruto and Mabui walked to an empty room used for council meetings as Naruto sat in a chair and Mabui gave him a simple paper and a pencil. All right, Naruto. I'll wait till you're finished. Don't rush and take all the time you need, Mabui told him. Naruto simply nodded and grinned as he sat in a chair with the paper in front of him. Mabui sat in a chair on the opposite side of where Naruto was sitting and took out a book to read. Naruto took the pencil and glanced at the test. Naruto softly chuckled at the fact that everything was about Kumo, though he shouldn't have been surprised. Naruto seemed to know most of the questions simply from the books Yujito gave him to read over the month. Naruto wrote down everything as best he could. Naruto even got some help from QB as she told him the answers to this that he normally wouldn't know. Within 20 minutes, Naruto finished his paper and handed it to Mabui. I'm finished Mabui-san, Naruto said to her. Mabui nodded as she took the paper and escorted Naruto back to the main room. Raikage-sama, Naruto-san is finished with his examination. I will grade his exam and will return shortly, Mabui said with a bow as she left. Naruto gave his never-ending smile as Yujito, B and Raikage got up from their seats. All right then Naruto we will start the jutsu portion of the exam. Come with us outside, Raikage said as all four people left the building. Raikage brought them to an open field and turned to Naruto. All right Naruto, B told me about your affinities, so for the jutsu portion, I want you to do one type of jutsu for each affinity, Raikage told him. Naruto nodded as he walked a little further into the field for a safe distance. Raikage waved for Naruto to start as the blonde went through multiple hand signs. Fuitin. D-A-I-T-O-P-P-A, wind release. Great breakthrough, Naruto yelled as he sent a massive gust of wind towards the group. Yujito, B, and Raikage braced themselves for the wind as the wind knocked back a few feet. Naruto released the jutsu as he saw Raikage wave his hand. Naruto sheepishly chuckled and rubbed the back of his head as Raikage and B clapped. Yujito was happy that Naruto was able to do it, but cursed that she didn't have her hair set for it as she tried to bring it back to its original shape. Raikage waved his hand for Naruto to continue as to which the blonde nodded. Naruto went through more hand signs and pumped an electrical current through his right hand. Raiten. Kaminari. No J-I-S-H-I and lightning release. Thunder quake. Naruto yelled as he slammed the ground causing a medium-sized wave of lightning to spread across the ground, nearly hitting B, Yujito and Raikage, but managed to stop in time. Raikage smirked at the small hole Naruto made in the ground while B clapped. Yujito gave a small smile, but turned to B with the all too innocent smile that made B sweat. B when we get back, you're going to tell me how Naruto-kun knows that jutsu, Yujito said as B nodded though quivered slightly. Raikage laughed at them both, but everyone turned their attention to Naruto who was ready for the signal to continue. Raikage waved his hand as Naruto did the tiger seal and breathed deeply. Katen. Kitsu no H-I-N-O-T-A-M-A fire release. Demon fox fireball. Naruto yelled as he shot seven fox-looking fireballs into a mountainside, causing a considerable amount of damage. Naruto huffed slightly as he felt his chakra get slightly winded, but shook it off and stood tall from his achievement. Raikage nodded as he and two Jinchuriki came to Naruto. Good lil nine. I'm impressed with Da's skills, B said to him. Naruto nodded as Raikage pointed to B or Yujito. Next is a light spar. Pick your opponent and you must fight them with as much skill as you are able for one hour. The only rule is known in Jutsu or Jinjutsu, Raikage told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as he turned from Yujito to be in back. Naruto did this process multiple times, but stopped and pointed to his target. 
I'll take Yugi Chan, Naruto said with surprised all three of them. Yujito gave a grin and stood across for Naruto. I won't go easy on you simply because I like you, Naruto kun, Yujito told him. Naruto gave a slight blush while Nibi decided to intervene. So you do like him? Nibi asked, to which Yujito blushed from the twisting way that Nibi used her words against her. Not like that, Bakaniko, Yujito said to her ten, to which Nibi rolled her eyes with a smile. Naruto fought back the blush on his face as he took out his two swords. Bring it on, Yujito chan. I always wanted a cat to play with, Naruto said, to which Yujito's eyebrow twitched. Raikage and B stifled their laughter as Yujito gave a smile. Let's go then, Naruto kun, Yujito told him. Naruto nodded as Raikage waved his hand for the fight to commence. Yujito wasted no time and dashed towards Naruto. Naruto gasped at the speed as he found himself flying through the air, thanks to a kick from Yujito. Yujito gave a small as Naruto crashed into the base of the mountain. Naruto painfully chuckled as Yujito spoke from the center of the field. Cats can be quite vicious, Naruto kun, Yujito told him. Naruto narrowed his eyes at her and quickly rebounded as he got to his beat. Naruto couldn't rely on his Kage Bunshins this time, and channeled Chakra to his beat as he ran towards Yujito. Yujito saw Naruto coming and tried to dodge, but moved too late as Naruto appeared in front of her. Yujito and Naruto smiled at each other as Naruto threw out a punch. Yujito managed to block the punch with her right hand and twirled her body to bring her foot around. Naruto turned his eyes fast to the right and ducked his head managing to avoid the semi-lethal kick aimed at his neck. Naruto and Yujito continued their close quarters to Jutsu fight as Raikage turned to be. He's doing well. It seems having you two teach him was the right thing to do, Raikage told him. B nodded with a grin of pride as both turned back to the fight to see Yujito skidding back while holding her stomach. Sorry Yugi-chan, but if the cat disobeys then the owner must discipline it, Naruto told her. Yujito and Nibi chuckled at the smart alec remarks Naruto made as they always found them funny, since they both knew he was teasing. Yujito chuckled as she took out a kunai and threw it at Naruto. Naruto managed to counter with it with one of his swords, but cursed as he found out too late that the kunai was a distraction. Naruto turned his head to find Yujito, but cursed as she disappeared from his view. Naruto looked in all directions, but still couldn't find her as quickly looked up. Naruto gasped as he saw a multitude of kunai coming down on him. He quickly made a defense position that he learned from B as he Naruto blocked the rain of kunai left and right. Naruto blocked as many kunai as he could, but it was too much as Naruto decided better to cover his head and block, as the kunai made several cuts throughout his body. The rain of kunai stopped as dropped one of his swords by mistake. Yujito saw her chance and came out and rushed at Naruto as she was looking to end a fight. Yujito had about 30 minutes left for the fight, but decided to end it now. Yujito closed in on Naruto looking for the final hit as she connected a right fist to Naruto's face. And that's the cat's defiance, Yujito said with a smile. Naruto grimaced, but gave a hidden smirk as he disappeared. Yujito gasped as she saw one of his swords on the ground. Kawarimi no jutsu, Yujito said in realization as she looked to see Naruto behind her with his sword at her back. And with that the cat learned to be obedient, Naruto told her. Yujito narrowed her eyes, but chuckled as she raised her hands. I give Raikage-sama, Yujito said to him. Raikage nodded as Yujito and Naruto left for a second to patch up their injuries, which only took about five minutes. Five minutes later, Naruto, Yujito, and B were all present with Raikage again as Raikage turned to Naruto. Good job Naruto. Mabui gave me the results to your written exam, and they are more than satisfactory. You did very well in the ninjutsu portion as well as the tojutsu portion. You have done well, Raikage told him. B patted Naruto on the back while Yujito nodded her head with a smile. Naruto blushed slightly, but bowed in gratitude of the Raikage's words. Raikage smirked as he went into his drawer and pulled out a Kumo headband. Naruto gasped at the headband as Raikage handed it to him. Welcome to the ranks Jen and Naruto Uzumaki, Raikage told him. Naruto's eyes beamed with excitement as he put on the Kumo headband. Yujito and B smiled while Raikage brought all three back to him for an announcement. This next decision was to be used whenever Naruto became Genin which was today. I have already dubbed the three of you a team, Raikage told them. B, Yujito, and Naruto questioned the decision as Raikage chuckled. You three have been quite the friends since Naruto came, and I think it's best for Naruto to learn fast when he feels comfortable with those he is with. B, you are the leader of Team Jinchuriki, Raikage told him. B nodded as he, Yujito, and Naruto left the Raikage to his work. 
now that he's a shinobi, it might be easier for Konoha to find him. Oh well, if Naruto wants to go I won't stop him, but if he wants to stay I'll protect him. Simple as that, Raikage thought as he frowned at the increased number of paperwork. Naruto, Yujito, and B continued to walk out of the mansion as Naruto touched the plating on his headband. Yujito and B smiled at his joy of being a Kumo shinobi, also both were quite surprised that the three of them were a team. All three exited the mansion and walked back to Yujito's house. On the way back, Yujito noticed some of the academy girls checking Naruto out as the blonde female Jinchuriki narrowed her eyes. Nibi saw her chance and smiled at her devious plan. What did I tell you kitten? They're already blushing from the side of him. You should take him now while he's still single. You really need someone in your life, Nibi told her. Yujito as she didn't want to deal with Nibi's ramblings right now. During the same time, Naruto saw most of the male population eyeing Yujito as the blonde narrowed his eyes. Feeling jealous Kit? QB asked him. Naruto stuttered with a small blush as he tried to deny QB's claims. B noticed the interactions between the two blondes and smirked at their feeling of jealousy for the other attracting the opposite sex. After a few more minutes, everyone arrived him as Naruto hit the soft carpet. Finally a break, Yujito chan's tough, Naruto said as Yujito laid on the couch with a smile on her face. B sat up against the wall while Naruto and Yujito sweat dropped. Why are you tired? You didn't do anything, Naruto and Yujito thought as they continued to rest on the couch, though thanks to their respective biju, both had a lot to think about as it referred to the other. Back in Konoha, Saratobi was in a small state of depression, as he had to call of the search for Naruto, since most people presumed the blonde and Shuriki to be dead. Saratobi shook of such doubts, but not being able to Naruto's smiling face weighed heavily on the Sandame's heart. Saratobi continued his paperwork, but stopped when a swirl of leaves came into the room with Jiraiya and a not-so-happy face. I take it you didn't find Naruto-kun? Saratobi asked him. Jiraiya narrowed his eyes which was all the Sandai needed to know. I'm going to keep searching for him. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. I swear Saratobi, I will kill the people who did this when I find them, and if it's a Kanoha shinobi or civilian, Jiraiya told him. Saratobi narrowed his eyes at Jiraiya and stood up. Jiraiya, I can't allow you to harm the people of Konoha on the assumption that they kidnapped Naruto, Saratobi told him. Jiraiya flashed an intense kai throughout the building, as mostly everyone shuddered under it. My godson is somewhere out in the world. He's probably all alone, starving, or even worse. I know I should have been there for him, but I'm going to find him. I also promise, no I swear that if some here is responsible for his kidnapping, I will get them and you won't stop me. Jiraiya said as he left in a swirl of wind. Saratobi sat back in his chair and took off his hat. I'm getting too old for all this shit, Saratobi said as he looked out the window and off into the distance. Naruto-kun, where are you? Saratobi wondered. Back in Kumo, Yujito was still being pestered by her tenant as she wondered why she had to deal with all her ravings. Come on kitten. You know you like him. So what if you're eight years older than him? I would bet with half a mind that he likes you too. Would you at least do one date? Nibi asked her. Yujito cursed as she tried to keep her eyes closed and rest. Nibi even if I did do what you're saying, I don't think Naruto-kun would want to be with me. He has a lot going for him, and I don't want to hinder him, Yujito said albeit quietly. Nibi seemed more frantic about Naruto than usual. She had always tried to make Yujito date some guys, but she was never this intense in her approaches. For Kami's sake kitten, if you turn down every guy who asks you out or don't start searching, you're gonna end up old and alone in no time, Nibi told her. Yujito narrowed her eyes slightly as she looked at the ceiling. Yujito spared a glance at Naruto who seemed to be muttering to himself about something. Sorry Nibi, I can't do it. Besides I would rather Naruto-kun ask me out, but I don't think that's likely, Yujito said to her tenant. Nibi sighed as she decided to give up for today, but everyone stopped as Naruto walked over to Yujito. Yujito-chan, Naruto said to her. Yujito removed her arms from covering her eyes as she turned to the blonde next to her. Yes, Naruto-kun? Did you need something? Yujito asked him. Naruto blushed for a second and looked at the ground which caused QB, Nibi, B, and Yujito to wonder what he wanted to say. Naruto nodded fast and looked up at Yujito. Yujito-chan, will you go out with me? Naruto asked her. Time stopped for everyone as B's glasses slowly dropped off his face. QB's mouth hanged along with Nibi's as Yujito tried to process the words that Naruto just said to her. What? So that's it for today, I will stop here, 
and hope you enjoyed this video if you do please hit the like button, share and subscribe, also don't forget to drink water and do support fanfiction author link in description, take care bye.